Brian, talk to me about confirmation bias and why it's important right now. I just want to be known as debutante. I just yeah. throw that you want in. Want that there. too? I do. I really do. <laughs> It's um, not debutante, it's dubutante. Debutante is a different thing. You have to wear a dress. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dude, dude. Okay, dude then. Dude, dubutante. Okay, I'm just a simple kid from Minnesota, so I'm very confused. Anyway, uh, good morning. Um, confirmation. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, markets went up, markets went down. That's what they do. And I think uh, there's a real lack of confidence from our institutional investors that we talk to around the world. You know, we have a very good fortune of talking to people in America, Canada and around the world and I think uh, right now people don't know what to do I think uh, at the end of the day uh, most of our institutional clients feel like they have to be invested and we've heard so much about the FANG stocks which we wrote a note Jan uh, June 1 uh, we took uh, positions down from on all of those stocks that we own for our private clients in Canada that we manage money for principally because we were becoming too concerned that everyone was in those stocks and so we do think America on a short-term basis, U.S. stocks are the place to be just because of the wherewithal and, and, uh, of them from a corporate earnings basis, from a balance sheet basis. The Fed's going to raise rates. This, uh, we know that in June. Uh, the Fed needs to provide more uh, guidance with respect to um, not, only, not only going forward financial stability of the U.S. market, but more importantly, what's going to happen in terms of inflation expectations. Well, inflation expectations are, yeah. are rolling over right now. Do you think that's out of sync with what you see? Yes, because I think the bo I think the bond market are a bunch of bullies, and what happened was <laughs> they usually <laughs> write those bullies, though. Well, here's the deal: I uh, I have the very good fortune of of someone on my team is, is has fixed in, fixed income background. I hired him when we worked together at Merrill Lynch, and I've always contended that fixed income people are smarter than equity people because we're emotional. So I need that kind of balance in my life. Yeah. And so I think the fixed income people just said, "Hey, nothing's going to happen. No Trumpy's not going to do anything. Let's just pound the market. Let's make one more run at it." And I think that's why you've seen the twos and tens, which I care about as an equity person, have flattened out again. And then everyone's saying, oh, let's look at the textbook. Oh, recession, recession. This has not been anything. This has not been a textbook recovery. Yeah. Come on.